All right. We will wait outside the front door, but we will expect you out there in 15 minutes. Thank you. Honey, take the baby into your room and, and get dressed her, okay? And then get yourself dressed too, okay? Okay, right now, darling. the rest of this stuff in a truck and then I'll try to find some place for it later. Just leave it. None of it's gonna fit in my place anyway. I said that I would put it in my truck and find a place for it later. Uh-uh. I'm not having it. And I'm not having you. She is lucky that I am letting them in. Man can't take care of his own shit. Well, what do you call a man like that? Huh? Mama, stop it. Just leave me alone and you stay away. I'm gonna go out of my mind there. I know, I'm gonna fix it, okay? I'm gonna fix it, I promise you. I'm gonna fix this shit. I don't wanna hear you promise anything. Just do something. You hear me? Donnie, leave that ugly thing alone. Come over here and say goodbye to your dad. Hey, who's my man? Ah, oh, Don, I know this is hard for you, but ain't no room in your grandma's house for me. Look at me. Come here, look at me. Now listen, I need you to take care of your, your mama and your sister, okay? Say okay. Okay. Good man. Okay, get in the car. Megan will never let me hear the end of it. The cardism's wonderful. No side effects. Okay. I'll see you at dinner tonight. Bye. I do for you. What are you doing with my mayor? Do you know who I am? What? I said, do you know who I am? No, I don't know who you are. Give me the fucking keys. Come on. Give them to me. I'm gonna get in the back of this car and we're gonna talk. This is what I want from you. I want this in cash. 
I don't have this kind of money on me. You got cash in the house? No, I don't keep it in the house. Well, where do you keep your goddamn cash then? Let's not do anything you say. I just have to get this kind of money out of the bank. Walk in no fucking bank with you. All right, now, just do it normal, like. Don't pull no shit. All right, do it. Hello? Hello? Oh, fuck. No, no, I need your help here. What the fuck are you doing? What you saying to him? You want your money or not? Excuse me. I'm sorry, sir, we're closed. This is an emergency, and I need some money now. Well, my till here has already been emptied. You'll have to come back. We reopen at 9 in the morning, Monday. Monday? I fucking believe this. I can't wait until Monday. I need to have some money now. Well, you can go to the money machine around the corner. No, wait a minute. You don't understand. I need more money than that. Well, I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do. Jesus Christ. Let me talk to your superior. Well, I'm in charge of the window here, sir. I'll give you in charge of the window. I need to talk to whoever is the president of this bank. Well, as far as this window is concerned, sir, I'm the head of the bank. Look, you turn around and go inside and get me the goddamn president of this goddamn bank. Now. Go, go, just go. You have a good evening, Sam. I want your name. Just fucking go, go. I'm just a little prick. Move it! All right. I know it's your house, but keep going. What? Where are we going? Man, this is fucked up. Park the car. Give me the keys. Get out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's what is with this? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know it's worth money? Oh, yeah, yeah. Me in this car, right? In ten fucking minutes, I've been picked up by the cops. Now, come on. Get in the truck. Get in the goddamn this truck. No. Get in the fucking goddamn truck. Right now. Move that shit aside and get in. Motherfucker, try it. It's broken. There's only two ways out of here, through the front window or over my ass. Now put your head on the dash. <coughs> Stay there. on a dash, no China shit.
be a good neighborhood. Not like where you live, but years ago it was a good neighborhood. Look, this paper that you gave me here with, with the number of hours, the number of days, the amount of per hour, amount owed. Do you owe somebody some money? Is all this is about? If you owe someone money, I can give you the money. Oh, you give me the money. I do know you. You came to my house, I remember you. You're Lionel's delivery boy. Now you remember me. I'm the delivery boy. All them years at the factory, all that time I put in, and I'm the fucking delivery boy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that in a derogatory way. Oh, then what way did you mean it then? Look, I didn't go up to your house to do that. I was doing what I was told to do. I didn't peep at your wife. Ain't no fucking peeping time. But what you did, man, that was wrong. That ain't right. You can't do that to people. What did I do? What did I do? I'm trying to understand. You came to my house and you looked in the window. I remember that. But then what else? Do I owe you some money for the delivery? You put me on? Are you, you fucking playing with me? You do that to me. You do that. You, you do that to my life. You take, a man, you take the livelihood out of a man's life. And then you, you forget it? You, 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 are you unbelievable, man? No, no, wait a minute. You got to explain that to me. You told Lionel to fire me. And next thing I was out of there. You didn't think about it. He didn't think about it. I never told Lionel to fire you. Oh, bullshit, man. That's the truth. I spoke to him, yes. When you were looking in the window and my wife was standing there, I was very upset. But all I said to Lionel was, I'd prefer the next time he sent another delivery person. That's the truth. I never told him to fire you. Bullshit. Look, if that's what this is about, we can straighten this whole thing out. I mean, I'll just get on the phone, I'll tell Lionel, you get your job back. Why don't we do that? We can call him right now. Let's find a phone. Now you want to help me. Yeah. You want to help me now. I come to your house, I I'll buzz your buzz, I beg your maid to talk to you, and you ain't got no time for me, you can't help me. But now I got a gun, you got all the time in the world. Well, you a fucking liar. Now move over. Well, it's about time. Thaddeus, you know how much work has gone into tonight. You could at least respect the time that I put into it. Hey, Mom. Hello. This is Cheryl. Uh, hi, Mrs. Thomas. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Cheryl. Where's Dad? <sighs> He's late, and we're leaving without him. Put Marsha on the phone. Who is this? Well, who you think it is? Jeez, what'd you say to her? I didn't say nothing. How you doing? I miss you. Yeah, I'm horny too, baby. How the babies? Well, Don got into a fight with some of the kids around here. He's okay. He just hurt his life a little. God damn it, Marsha. I told you not to let him hang out with them kids. Put him on the phone. She went to get him. My wife went to get my son. Dad? Don, what's up with them kids? I got in a fight. Three of them. I told you I don't want you to be fighting. It was my fault. We just walking out front here, and they want to know who I was and where I was from. Well, I'll talk to you about it when I see you. You mean tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, Dad. You promised. Oh, shit. You didn't forget, did you? No, I didn't forget. I didn't forget, Don. So I'll see you tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Out. Come on, come on, out. Go behind that fence over there. up the pace. Come on. Go ahead, through here. Go ahead, go ahead. Just do it. Get in. 